Absolutely cloudy day, no rain at the moment, but strong southerlies continue. Now, please, Gusting around please. 40 to 50 k's, averaging around 30 kilometers per hour, which is very strong. So those are the conditions that greet the three archers from each team here, France and Korea. And they were the top two qualifiers, France number one, Korea number two. France out there with wins over Ukraine, Great Britain and Colombia. Two of them, though, in shoot-offs. Quarter-final and the semi. On target number one, representing France, Baptiste Adiz. So I touched on those shoot-offs wins for France. That was in the quarterfinals against Great Britain. Won the shoot-off 29-26. Beat Colombia in the semi in a shoot-off 29-28. Korea's wins have been more decisive. They beat Australia 6-2. Chinese Taipei 5-1 in the quarters. And India 5-3 in the semi-finals. We have the top qualifier for individual competition competing in this match. Baptiste Adis from France. And the number two qualifier for the individuals also competing, Ji Yi Chan. So, two very good young archers. But Tistadis, we saw almost win a title in Nîmes earlier on in the year in, in uh, seniors competition. He was fantastic. The 16 year old. We'll see if he can make a splash here today as Jules Pedro is getting the match underway for France. Fantastic start from him. Qualified 11th for the individuals. Here we see Alexis Renaud Dignol just waiting for the breeze, hopefully, to settle. And it, France make a great start here. And now Baptiste Adis, he's already hugely experienced for just 16 years of age in seniors' competition. He got the worst of the conditions there, Gabby, didn't he? But he opens with an eight. Yeah, we see on the French side two left-handed archers. I think that the wind could affect them in a different way. Um, uh, on, I feel like they serve really good with a 10-10-8. Uh, really good score for these conditions. So let's watch the Koreans now. As we see Choi Chul Jun. We saw the 15-year-olds out there for Korea in the women's competition. We've got two 16-year-olds and a 17-year-old here for in the men's team. And this is G, the eldest of the three, or the oldest of the three. Oh. Well, he struggled to release there, and that is why. Brutal win. <laughs> the facial expressions there of Choi we seal said it all, I think. Looking it like he wasn't prepared for the shot. I uh, think that a seven is pretty good for how how he shot the arrow. <laughs> how good is France here? Three tens from four arrows so far. Oh wow, that really does equalise the ledger now. France were looking hugely comfortable. Adis. Quick release, and it's another 10. So, France lock in 51. Four tens on the scorecard and a three. <laughs> Should still be enough, though, or will it? Yes, it will. 
So two tens to tie the set. Going to be tough here with the win really picking up for Choi Chul Jun. Oh, it looks really difficult. I think that's a nine. Just uh, jumped up above the that other arrow. So that will confirm France winning the first set. Even if G gets a 10, which he does. First 10 of the match for Korea. Worth mentioning too that G was in the mixed teams competition earlier on. They lost in the quarterfinals, that Korean team, to the USA in that match. But look at the breeze, Gabby. I know we harp on about it go on about it but wow it is tough no it indeed looks really difficult i feel like that's something that we need to talk about these conditions are really difficult for all these young archers to shoot with um i feel like team france looks a little bit more solid uh, that arrow outside of the yellow uh looked like a mistake but we could, we could see that the wind was blowing really really hard when alexis needed to shoot um, I just hope uh, for both teams that they can stick to their process and do whatever is needed to get this gold medal. Well, right. That's so right. Bruno Dino got a three in that first set, but they still won the set. Incredible by effort by the French team. Due to the quality of four of their other arrows. So it's two to nil to France. Korea looking to increase their standards. Choi Wu Siuk to go first. And we've seen this before, Gabby, haven't we? Things didn't go pan out well for Korea, but boy, do they bounce back. Yeah, I think they used their first and two side in. And then after that, they just shoot. Uh, 10 after 10 after 10 and uh, let's see if we we get some of that in this match as well she now on the shooting line A 27 that's better than the 23 well better than the 23 they got after the first rotation of the first set Do. Looks like that one might be in the eight zone. Yeah, I think that it is an eight as well. And that, you know, Dinu goes uh, just below the 10 line. He's looking for that consistency. He's the 16 year old as well. And now Adis. It's Korea leading by a single point. Koreans looking to get this match back on even terms. And Choi didn't like the release straight away, did he? It looks a little bit like all recurve arch all uh, right-handed archers are having a little bit of trouble with aiming. Uh, that comes from the wind pushing them from the back. Yeah, that's a very good observation, Gabby. G with the last arrow, and it's a 10. Much needed for the Korean team as they lock in 54. Really nice shot there. Big improvement on their 50 in the first set. See if France can match it here. Well, great arrow there from Tedieu. Hey, it looks like he wants a, he really wants a, uh, that gold medal. Hundred percent. 
This is good from France. This is excellent stuff from them. So, to win the second set here, a 10 from Baptiste Adis. Nine to tie, anything lower than that, Korea will win it. Big arrow in the match here. It's a nine. Adis not quite able to get it into the 10 zone, so it's going to be a tied set. That was good response there by France, 10-9-9. And that's the thing with Korea. You need to take your chances against any Korean in a team's competition. Yeah, 100% agree. I feel like France had a little bit of uh, bad luck with her, their first two arrows, one being really close to the nine and the other one being also really, really close to the eight. But um, I think the set is also... Uh, a really good thing. I really feel like they look really focused. Uh, also, Team Korea looks uh, looks really focused. It looks like uh, the left-handed archers are having a little bit of advantage here. But um, I I feel like also uh, all the archers are shooting really, really good. Confirmation that first arrow from Pedro was a an eight so confirmed scores the tied 54 each so three set points to one france lead in this under 18 gold medal match against korea halfway through the match Alawin seemed to settle there, but Choi wasn't settled on the shooting line. That's a good arrow there. That's his first 10 from Choi Chul Jun. So 7, 10, 9, so plenty of opportunity here for France. They can win the match here, of course, in this third set. They look confident, liking what we're seeing from all three of them at the moment. Yeah, it looks like the team is communicating really good. That's what you need in these windy conditions. They also wait to shoot their shots when they feel more comfortable. And that's really nice to see. Right, Dees, just one ten on a scorecard so far. Getting buffeted, isn't he? It wasn't uh, happy there. Like, yeah, it looked like it was really windy. I feel like um, sometimes you also need to think about the time that you need to leave to your teammates to shoot. And also, yeah, the arrows that you need to shoot later on. A big chance here for Korea to move clear. Build an unassailable lead in this third set and lock the match up. That's good. That's just what they needed. So to win the set, a yellow score is required here from Ji Yi Chan. A well, long hold, and the set is still alive. But France can't win the match in the set now. So we'll be going to a decider one way or the other. Three tens would be amazing from France if they can do it. And that ends that. So it's going to be Korea who will win this set. 
Real loose arrow there from Jules Pedo. So we're going to be locked up three all. Gabby, off to a decider we go. Uh, they need to sh uh, shoot really, three really good arrows right now just to get a feeling for the next round because this one is uh, not reachable anymore. Uh, D spins ends with a nine, much better than the five that we saw from him, but the Koreans have got that set in the bag. And it's going to a deciding set, three set points each. Now it all comes down to whether you can handle the moment, Gabby. Yeah, I really feel like uh, sometimes when these conditions is, um, it's not only the conditions you need to think about, but you also need to uh, think about like you releasing the arrows, shoot, shooting your arrows the best way you can. Uh, pressure, of course, can get uh, get in that moment because it's uh, yeah, it's not only the wind but your nerves. Uh, but I'm pretty sure these young archers are gonna be able to to manage their nerves and shoot their best, their yeah, the best they can. Well, three set points each. Hope you're enjoying the coverage, folks. Glenn Lava here, and you're listening to Gabby Schlosser as well. Of course, a world championship and Olympic Games medalist. And this match should be a terrific conclusion now. Three set points each. Korea won that set 52-48, by the way. And here we go, fourth and final set. Perfect start there, Jules Peto with a 10. Renault right, Dinu is having massive problems with the win there, but he stayed in control. Great score for him given the fact he was being buffeted. Adis with a 10. This has France pumped up. 29 out of 30. He was indeed showing his experience. Uh, let's see what Korea can, Korea can do about it. Well, if we get heavy scoring through to the end of this one, it'll be fantastic. Oh, Choi, brilliant arrow. So the Koreans hanging tough here. Seven and France a huge advantage now. Three points going into the last three arrows of the match. Gold medal at stake. Oh, nothing more than Jules Pedro can wait now. Knowing he's done his job with a ten and a nine in this final set. No, Daniel. Now, next up. Everything's yellow for France so far, but still one more error to come from Baptiste Adis. And it's a seven, and that now gives Korea a big chance to come back. So. 29 required. Well, that keeps the Koreans in the hunt. They now need two tens for the gold medal. Choi Chul Shun 
Scored a 10 with his last arrow. Oh, that's it. It's a shocker there. Hard luck there for Korea, but France have got the gold medal. Not in the way they would have wanted, that's for sure. And this last arrow can, will complete the match from G. And it's a seven. Well, that's really gut-wrenching there for Korea to concede the match in that way. But France are going to win the gold medal. And consistently through the match, they were just that little bit better on the day. Well, you have to feel there for Choi Chul-jun. He'd been arguably the most impressive of the Korean archers through the match, Gabby, but when it really counted, he couldn't deliver. Yeah, these windy conditions are really difficult. I feel like all the archers are managing the wind the best way they can. We saw uh, the French team, the last hour from the French team was seven on the uh, left side. And also the arrows that went a little bit wide from Korea were on the left side, probably the wind uh, pushing a little bit more. Um, but uh, what I see is amazing stuff and it looks like all the archers are just 100% uh, there for the matches. It looks it really nice what they, are, they all are doing. So France won that uh, last set 54 to 44. Shame it was really building that last set there towards a massive climax, didn't happen unfortunately. So France win the match by five set points to three and claim the gold medal. Korea get the silver, and earlier it was India getting the bronze medal. And next we'll have the victory ceremony before we move into the under 21 age category, which is coming up. So stay with us.